the Dyer Besties channel, Jazz over here and today's video is a, it's a travel video, it's traveling with type 1. So recently I had gone to Jodhpur which is in Rajasthan in India uh, and I had gone there for 10 days uh, to direct and to choreograph a play for a school. As you guys know I'm a dancer and a performer so I also direct plays and I was there for 10 days. So 10 days away from home, away from comfort and we sort of vlogged the journey on the way. So different moments in my diabetic type 1 life that sort of went up and down during the play. And I think it'll, it'll be great to give you an insight into an actual travel journey of a type 1 diabetic. So there were times my pump failed, there were times my Dexcom failed, um, hypos, hypers, stress induced situations, the food. So this is going to be a small glimpse into my 10 day travel journey along the way. I keep giving you some tips about how do you travel better with type 1. So I really hope you enjoy the video and come follow me to Jodhpur. We just finished security check and for a change there was no issue in security uh, which was great and now we're just gonna wait and go on the flight and I'm gonna check my sugars before I step out of the flight and before I eat something on the flight. My Dexcom didn't fail, it expired on the flight. Uh, I don't have an extra one in my handbag, but I do have one in my check-in. So now we're gonna go and sort of test sugars, have a meal. I'm really hungry because I ate before. I didn't eat on the flight. Um, and yeah, it was a smooth flight, just one hypo, one scare, but otherwise it was fine. Pastel colors. Um, it's eight dance sequence today. I don't want us to talk. It's just the energy. And if multiple people lock eyes, it's not that. It is to also see if we are going in order. So I was working and my pod failed, which is why you always carry spares always in life. So spare pod was in the bag. I think it's this major uh, temperature fluctuation. And the cannula must have frozen. Session up, get your mind in. I really, really, really want this to be a silent movie. We had no two juices. Jazz just fell down because she her sugar went very low. So when he said it was 77, he gave her juice. Like Jazz is right now not available <laughs> to talk. Jazz fell. I just fell. I just. I think it was actually it was low. I skipped a step. I think I fell down and I fell on my hands and my knees. 
लाइक अपटाइट बन रहा है वैसे जस्ट <laughs> So when you're in a new city you have to try new foods but sometimes those new foods result in this So I just had something that was really high on um ghee and lots of stuff. So sugar is high. I have taken a correction, but this is what type 1 diabetes is like when you are out in a new place trying new food. So guys, that was the traveling with type 1. I like to think of myself as a type 1 traveler. um uh, but it's great to travel but just one thing i've learned over the years is to always be prepared there is nothing better than a well prepared kit a well prepared type 1 to be ready for any situation so that's my number one tip to all the travelers out there be prepared prevention is better than cure any day so i hope you enjoyed the video follow us on all our social media uh show us some love and join the blue heart club i will see you again in the next video As always you know what I'm going to say be type 1 of the kind